Welcome back to Mega Mechatronics. In this video, we are following up with the reasons why you won't build a performance four cylinder NA engine. That video is filled with a lot of facts and realities of making a lot of power with a little bit of displacement. So, for you noobs out there, make sure you check that video out too. Naturally aspirated is sometimes called all motor normally aspirated or na again we're talking about at least adding 50 percent more horsepower so we're not talking about the negative one to two percent horsepower you gain by putting on the fart muffler after killing the cat so coming up are my top five reasons why you will indeed build a high horsepower four-cylinder engine don't forget to enjoy like this video and subscribe for more content. Mega Mechatronics. The first reason you will build a high performance four cylinder NA engine is because rules. Because you're involved in a motorsport class that requires an all motor engine. Not to say rules can't be broken in an all-motor class. There are a lot of NA motorsport classes out there in road racing, drag racing, motorcycles, airplanes, boats, off-road dirt racing. The NHRA Pro Stock class is a very well-known class. They're running all-motor, naturally aspirated, running in the sixes in the quarter mile. You know that car, it's that Summit Racing car. It's not open season though, even with an open class. There may be restrictions on the cylinders, the displacement, engine layout. You might have airflow restrictors in it and also where you can source the components or you might have to get a pre-assembled sealed NA engine. And then on top of all of that, there might be restrictions on the type of fuel or you might be required to use a single type of fuel, which could restrict your compression ratio and power potential. Okay, so the second reason you will tune or build a performance NA four-cylinder engine is because you are the engine builder, or at least one of your buddies is. You might not want to pay someone else to do the work if you already have the knowledge and skills to do it yourself. And you might even have a hookup. You want that challenge of building something yourself, building that small displacement high horsepower, high tech, four cylinder NA engine. And if you're putting this in a lightweight chassis, it makes a lot of sense if you wanna go fast. And depending on your power goals and platform support, you're gonna be spending thousands on components and custom parts still. However, the cost saved in labor might even cover the costs of the chassis and the supporting parts for this high performance engine. And you can probably save a lot of money if you got the hookup on takeout parts or dealer pricing. The third reason you will build or tune a high performance four cylinder NA engine is because you got more dollar bills than mechanic skills. And you want that street cred and internet points for taking out boosted and bottled cars with a four cylinder NA engine. You're a car person, you enjoy the experience you enjoy driving, you enjoy the noises and the aesthetics and the attention you get. Or you just enjoy driving around in the streets in a demon spawn. You just got no confidence, you got no time, you have no ability to build an engine, let alone have any friends who build these engines. I'm not saying you're stupid, I'm not saying you don't have any friends, I'm saying you might be specialized in some other area, like financing or managing a business or you just have a very fortunate upbringing. Your assembled NA performance four cylinder engine block may be 10 grand or two, but that might be what the DIY guy put into the whole cost of the race car. But with the right investment, you get next level state of the art technology or even secret technology that isn't out there yet if you get the right people on your team to build this performance engine let's take a quick break and check out this wiseco video on the k24 500 horsepower build and we could kind of skip through this kind of watch some b-roll here okay so we'll pause it here got this huge ITB setup. He said 70, 71 and a half millimeters. Got our dry sump system here, dry sump pump, 
and then this just the, the dime this is just huge and then same with the exhaust header and collector it's tuned they're definitely tuned for high speed so for piston racing there he says their core business is uh, cylinder head development and they'll develop the heads and then they'll uh, be able to see and see the, those designs for customers so if we go back here you could see the extreme clearancing they had to do to run enormous aluminum rods there's the aluminum rod right there notice the huge dome on this piston they're definitely i think they're running about 14 to 1 compression 15 to 1 smooth transitions very very smooth polished it looks cnc'd titanium retainers and aftermarket springs and watch this into the itbs you can see the fuel being injected and you can see well knife edged between the ports and even the guides here got some profile action there and then you can see the dry sump uh, pulls from here pulls a vacuum pulls oil in through there those on the oil pan so we said this is for a specific na drag racing front wheel drive drag racing class they got displacement limits 2.7 liter displacement limit um so they was running 106 millimeter crank 90 millimeter bore so if you buy all these bolt-on parts got the aftermarket damper sfi certified big old valves right there right going right in to the cylinder dual huge valves it's pretty freaking awesome looks like a multi-layer steel gasket here so all bolt-on parts you buy from him will be 460 to 480 horsepower at 10,000 rpm and if you get these guys to tune it or tuners to tune it uh, they can make about five over 500 510 looks like 512 they made they got their ring so it looks like they're running one ceiling ring and then the oil ring and obviously the huge thick so it's so the aluminum if you properly design it will be lighter than steel parts it's just you got to use more aluminum or did i say well they'll be just as strong as steel if i said they would be more strong but for the same weight aluminum could be more strong so you can see these small skirts and just tiny skirt look at the the size and then this this ring land is huge for strength and they, they have it coated and then again slick coating here this also looks treated as well probably to prevent um galling with the aluminum rod so i mean that looked pretty standard like a standard i wonder if that's a factory crank they're using probably not aftermarket manufacturing is getting pretty good these days standard stock girdle and then here you could see under the caps these kind of teeth shapes here should be another view of it okay here's that iron sleeving and then those are the the holes here these gas holes push that top ring and help seal it and then i think he'll focus on this next one so you see teeth here that prevent the cat from walking in x or y direction so luckily they machine those and put the caps together and then machine the outside and inside of the cap pull some steel inserts again the ideals yeah straight shot from the atmosphere into the cylinder so you can see this is a great view and then that knife edging pretty cool titanium retainers valve spring titanium valves as well lightweight and that's it for this uh wiseco video okay i hope you enjoyed that and now we're moving on to the fourth reason the fourth reason you will indeed build a high performance na four cylinder engine is because you're going to support this channel by hitting that like button and if you're enjoying it so far please subscribe for more you're a slacker okay so the fourth reason is because of geographic location legal restrictions import restrictions and culture in some parts of the world there are countries where car modifications are illegal or at least the restrictions are being enforced take for example california or australia i know in most states here especially michigan cops are going to totally overlook the majority of car modifications even though it might technically not be legal for those having trouble with the enforcement of the laws and you are lawless one way to hide horsepower is to build a naturally aspirated four-cylinder you felons might be running an exhaust cutout to quiet it down, but you are leaving power potential on the table to simmer it down and go stealth. 
I doubt a cop is going to put a dial indicator on a cam lobe or a valve retainer, even if you can access it through the oil cap. This build will be all about creativity, and I'm sure it will be a pain in the ass. So comment down below on places that you know of that crack down on car mods. Another idea is culture. Maybe it's culture in your community, in your bubble of influence. The community might really appreciate what it takes to make big power with small displacement engines without boosting or using nitrous. So maybe there's an incentive there to do what it takes. All right, so give me your fifth reason why you will build a high performance four cylinder NA engine in the comments below. The fifth reason you will build a four cylinder NA performance engine is because you don't have to build a four cylinder NA engine. You could take two stock four cylinders and put them together to double the power. See this way, you don't have to install any performance parts. You don't have to increase the rev limit. All you gotta do is put them right next to each other. You offset one forward slightly. And then here's the trick. You remove one of the crankshafts, tilt both of the engines bottom ends towards each other. That way you can share a single crankshaft. So I dub it a V8. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting car related and mechatronics topics. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. I'm Mega Man. Thanks for watching.